feature guest on tonight's newscast will be Benito Mussolini, who has just recently been restored to power and announced the establishment of a Republican fascist party in the Socialist Republic of Italy. We will begin our interview as soon as Mr. Mussolini is in the building. In other news, it was reported a few days back that all Italian citizens are subject to rationing of coffee and sugar. Local war enthusiasts are planning on holding coffee for sugar events where citizens can trade in iron items for a small ration of coffee or sugar. The iron collected will go towards building of new weapons to support the ongoing war. We have also been informed that there are some Italian citizens in the south of Italy that have joined forces with the Allies and they call themselves co-belligerent or royalist forces. We will get Mussolini's reaction to this once he enters the building. And now to Ali Oxenfree with a local weather forecast. It's raining sideways. Sounds rough. Do you have an umbrella? I had one. Where is it? Inside out, two miles away. Is there anything we can do for you? I'd love some soup. What kind? Chunky. We'll check back with Ollie in a few minutes. Thank you. I have just been informed that Mr. Mussolini is in the building, but right now we'll take a short commercial break. Hi, I'm Isabel, head chef at Ditaglio's restaurant. We stepped outside today because of the large number of customers. Today, I'm showing you tomato sauce made from only the ripest tomatoes and the most freshest meat. Meow! <laughs> we also have pie made from the most delectable ingredients fit for a dictator. The Taglio's restaurant features great dishes such as spaghetti, lasagna, tortellini, cannoli, <laughs> All made with great cheese, like mozzarella. In the month of October, Mussolini and his officers eat free. Ciao. Welcome, Mr. Mussolini, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and talk with us today. My pleasure. Can you tell me a bit about your childhood and how you became such a man of power in Italy? Certainly. My father named me after an assortment of Mexican and Italian revolutionaries. Therefore, I had to act in a way that lived up to my name. Becoming a school teacher like my mother or a blacksmith like my father was much too ordinary for me. A man like myself is destined for greatness, not an average job with average wages. I learned early on not to take any disrespect from anyone. I had always been fearless. When I was about 10 years old, I took care of another boy who had been bothering me. What do you mean when you say, I took care of another boy? I stabbed him, of course. He deserved it. You know, I have always said, it is better to live one day as a lion than a hundred years as a sheep. Can you tell me what your opinion of Jewish people is? I've heard rumors that you practice anti-Semitism. Let's just say, if I could, I would build an island and put most of the Jews on there. They do not deserve to breathe the same air as all great full-blooded Italians. Does this fall in line with the belief that you have the right to Aryanize anyone you see fit? I can tell the dirty, lying Jews from the respectful, useful ones. I wouldn't want to throw away any possible leader or advisor, so I Aryanize the ones who actually have some merit. There aren't too many Jews with any redeeming qualities, though. Mr. Mussolini, we need to take a quick break, but sit tight and we'll be right back. Italy in their war effort, bring us Rotame de Vero. In exchange for your scrap metal, you'll get a scoop of coffee. You can get as much coffee as you bring in iron. Help Italy. Can you tell me why you were called Duce? Ah, uh, yes, Duce means leader in Italian, and that is what I am a leader to the Italian people, now and forever. Do you have any children, and if so, can you tell us a little bit about them? Well, let me see here. There's Etta, Vittorio, Bruno, Romano, Benito, Albino. I know I'm forgetting one. Huh. The more the merrier these children will all make good soldiers for me. Can you tell the viewing public a little bit about your role in the fascist party? First, let me say that Italy is the greatest country in the world. I make sure excellent military training is provided to all young males so that they can protect Italy and make her the greatest power on earth. Fascism should more appropriately be called corporatism because it's a merger of state and corporate power. 
As a leader of fascism, I believe that the people of Italy should be ruled by one person, that person being myself, and a single party totalitarian state. When individuals get what they want, a country cannot thrive. Socialism is a fraud, a comedy, a phantom, a blackmail. Democracy is beautiful in theory, and in practice it is a fallacy. I've been promoting fascism since 1914 when I founded a fascist newspaper. Almost 30 years of leadership under my belt, and that crazy Italian king thought he could just get rid of me? Ha! No one overthrows Benito Mussolini. Well, what happens if someone doesn't want to train in the military or doesn't want to obey your rules? Let's just say that would not be a wise move. I have my black shirts to make sure all Italian citizens obey me. What role do females play in Italy? First, let me say I adore females. They will provide Italy with a great population, one that a great country like Italy should have. You know, war is to the male what childbearing is to the female. What can you tell me about your friendship with Adolf Hitler? As you know, we have been friends for many years now. I am honored that Adolf patterns his thinking after mine. He is a great ruler who has recently aided in my rescue where I was being held hostage by some crazy Italians who failed to see how great the fascist government in Italy really is and who believe I led them into the war. You know, the king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel III, is really off his rocker. He is the one who actually had me arrested and imprisoned at Camp Imperatore. Eldolf knows what a great ruler I am, and he could not bear for me to be imprisoned any longer. There are rumors that your son-in-law voted against you on the Fascist Grand Council, and this is what led to your imprisonment. Do you have any knowledge of this, and if so, how do you plan to handle this situation? Ah, uh, yes, my traitor son-in-law, Chiano. I make you one promise today. I will see to it in the end that he pays for what he has done to me. He's not family to me. He is a lowly cockroach, and I will stomp him out. You wait and see. Nobody betrays Benito Mussolini. Nobody. I see. So you have been able to reestablish your control in Italy? I've been instrumental in setting up the Italian Social Republic in the German-occupied part of Italy. I am graciously aiming to give Italians a new life if they will give me a second chance to prove myself. I know what is best for Italy and all of her citizens. I was born to old Italy. You see, I provided scores of unemployed Italian jobs in my work camp. I have made sure all of Italy's children are well educated in their school about fascism. So as long as the people follow me, Italy will reign supreme. We have been informed that some Italians in the south of Italy have joined forces with the Allies and call themselves co-belligerent or royalist forces. Have you heard about this? And if so, how do you feel about it? I've heard rumblings to this effect, and let me just say, if any of my troops ever encounter one of those so-called co-belligerent troops, they will be held to pay. You are not a true Italian if you fight on the side of the enemy. Thank you very much, Mr. Mussolini, for joining us in our studio today. We appreciate your insight and openness, and we wish you well. Thank you very much. Long live Italy. Now let's check back with Ollie Oxenfree for the local weather. Ollie, are you there? Whew, I'm glad to get out of that rain. Yes, I'm here now. Here's your hometown forecast for the coming up week. Monday's high is 71 degrees with a low of 50 degrees. Tuesday's high is 70 degrees with a low of 49 degrees. Wednesday's high is 70 degrees with a low of 49 degrees. Thursday's high is 69 degrees with a low of 47 degrees. And Friday's high is 71 with a low of 53 degrees. There's an approaching cold front that will bring rain and wind.